Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. We're on to race number five now, which is the www.galloptv.co.za FM 67 handicap for fillies and mares. It'll jump at 14.59. It's over 1,400 meters. How are they betting? Number three, Perfect Trust, seven to two. Number six, Global Secret, two to one. And then number eight, Drive By, currently trading at around five to one in the betting market. Number two, English Primrose at four to one. So those are the leading lights in terms of the betting. Top three selections for me, I'm going with numbers three, excuse me, Perfect Trust. Number eight, Drive By, and number six, Global Secret. Now, I thought this was a very tricky race, but I'm going to be leaning towards, <coughs> excuse me, number three, but <coughs> excuse me, Perfect Trust. Now, I thought the last two starts were very good, led on both occasions, does have a good enough draw here, and I think will be prominent in the running. It's not the strongest of fields, so I'm expecting this horse to be in front, and I'm hoping she can go start to finish with Sereno Mudley aboard, who has ridden the horse before, so he'll know exactly what to do. And Sereno's riding really well. He's in great form, so a massive winning chance. Number three, perfect trust. Then if you look at a horse like number six, Global Secret, who has been holding solid form, another one that loves to race handy. So this is going to be very interesting to see who gets to the front first and how this race actually pans out. And Muzi Yeni is aboard. This horse will have to shoulder 62 kgs and on current form cannot leave her out. Then the third selection drive by the reason why I've gone for this individual because I'm expecting a solid pace in this race. So probably numbers three and six, they're going to uh, probably try to get to the front. And if they end up cutting each other's throats, you're going to get a horse like number eight drive by absolutely fly. Now this horse can absolutely fly. And I do believe that there is going to be solid speed on. So this could be the horse that's going to be closing them down into the closing stages if they go too fast. Hence me including that in the top three. Three, eight and six for me, Rahel. I think, uh, I think number three, Perfect Trust, will be a massive player. We've gone over the four, that form line in race number four, that form line behind Pour Some Sugar and Mean Spring Kiss. And if Pretty and Elia happens to come through and, and get the job done, well, then that just enhances the chances of number three, Perfect Trust. From a three draw, Serena aboard, and she is a fully, well, she's a mare now that uh, is suited to the 1400 meter trip. And uh, she looks to be on the right mark to notch up her next career victory. So she'll be a massive player. I think a horse like number two, English Primrose, even though she could possibly be better over 1600 meters, I think from a two draw, I see the cheek pieces are going back on. She's a horse that um, I think could run a nice race. She's another one that can go forward or can sit in a handy position. So I think on her last start, she's uh, definitely a horse that warrants respect. She was beaten two lengths behind Spring Kiss over a mile. Prior to that, uh, around four lengths behind Miss Leela over 1400 meters when uh, having a comeback run. So I think she's a player. Number five, Blush of Dawn is a runner that I don't think you can ignore. Jabu Jacobs rode in a penultimate start when running uh, three and a half lanes behind Kingsmead Crystal. And then last time out, over 1,200 meters, uh, she just uh, didn't seem to put a best foot forward, reported one paced run. But um, I think uh, she's a, a runner that uh, must uh, must always go into con must always go into calculation because uh, she's always dangerous. Uh, she's never a horse that I, I think you can leave out confidently because uh, the day you leave out, I think that's the day she'll pop up. And uh, she has won over track and trip once. She seems to be a better horse uh, over 1,200. But um, I think that uh, now that she's got gotten older, she could certainly be a lot more effective over the seven furlongs. And she does have some good form to her name. She'll, so she'll definitely be a horse that I think goes close. And then you heard about number eight, uh, try by from Devon. He's made a good case for this daughter of Rafif, who could certainly be be the closer in the pack but uh, race five it does look to be a trappy contest all of numbers two three five six and eight do look to have winning chances here and Devon uh, he likes numbers uh, six eight and uh, three three eight and six I'm gonna go three two and five those are the horses that I'll be playing around 
in race number five. good fun days like these are, are great you get the whole industry together um, and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone.